welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video so in this video i'm gonna read your comments as usual and before that i want to talk about how the ios 26.2 is going on so far ios 26.2 beta 1 is out and i am using ios 26.2 beta 1 for a couple of days now and definitely i can talk about the battery life so if i get into the settings and get into the battery section over here and maybe go to the view battery usage if i go to this day i guess this was the first day when i was using this update i used around 50 per 3 percent of my device i didn't use my phone much as you can see and for that i got around four hours of skin on time during which i use different applications like tiktok instagram whatsapp and as you can see now the very next day actually i use my phone a lot this time I used around 94% as you can see and I got screen on time of more than 10 hours as you can see which is insane which is much better. Now during this time I use applications like WhatsApp, Instagram, Safari, Threads and some other applications as you can see but as you can see this is a much much better screen on time. Yesterday I used around 65% and I got almost 5 hours of screen on time using different applications as you can see. Now overall this is a good screen on time. This is a good battery performance. Everything seems really good. Um, the performance is also nice. I am enjoying the performance too which is a really good sign. Now the lag which we were talking about from going to here is still in 26.2 which is a really bad thing. Definitely I'm going to put this in the feedback app. So they may be going to fix this, but this is a really bad thing. I hope this goes away very, very soon. Originally, this bug over here is from 26.1 and that is, you know, very badly on different devices. Even people using iPhone 17 are complaining about this bug, like going from widget screen to the home screen. It lags a bit. This is a really bad bug. I hope it gets fixed. Now it's time to talk about your comments. So let me get into the YouTube Studio app over here. Okay, so right now I am in the YouTube Studio app. Let's begin your comments. Please, if possible, try to make a video on iOS 18.6.2 versus 18.7.2. Well, the thing is, I cannot, you know, make video on every single iOS. And 18.6.2 is also unsigned by Apple. So I cannot downgrade. But if I, you know, conclude because I tested out the 18.6.2, also I tested out the 18.7.2. 18.7.2 is a much polished update, much better battery life. And it is going to be the, maybe the last update, but it is a really decent update. My app, iPad is draining a battery when I am not touching it. So keep touching it. Just kidding. And I have not, uh, I have no apps in second active plan and no widgets. Okay. So, see, you didn't mention everything. First of all, you need to mention which iOS version you are some, using, iPad OS version you are using, what is the battery health. You know, give specific, um, you know, details. When I have details like this, I can you know, guide you in a much better way. So, I don't know what is going on with your iPad. So, give me more details so I can talk about that. Wait for 26 table update guarantee it will give the best optimization. Definitely it will give the best optimization but still the latest update is 26.1 and it is not that optimized. You know the home screen and the widget screen is lagging a lot and that is a really really bad bug. Even if I show you all my this device I hate this like let me just unlock this device over here and if, I, if you see this this is too bad this is too bad literally so yeah apple need to really fix this one okay there is another comment 26 point two is pretty good battery life wasn't great that first day but so far in terms of performance i feel it's better than the previous version yes um the first day was okay battery life but now it is performing really good i am also using 26.2 beta 1 um if you guys you know ask me i will do a uh, you know battery test video but so far things are really nice going on and let's see when the beta 2 will come out i don't want to block calls okay so if you don't want to block calls don't avoid the notification okay so you are saying while playing games you don't want to avoid the calls 
So what you can do is you can create a focus mode regarding a game. So if you want me to do a focus mode of four games, let me in the comment section below. I will do that. 18. Okay, so there is 18.2 versus 26.1. So 18.2 is a very, you know, now old update, very honestly. And uh, definitely you can't expect, you know, battery life from 26.1 as good as 18.2 because there's a lot of features in the, a lot of difference in the features and a lot more stuff. So I don't know. I tested out 18.2 like a year ago. It was a good update, decent update at that time. So far 26.1 is also going a decent update bro i am on 17.7.2 on my iphone 10s should i upgrade to 18 percent where do okay so this is actually a really good question but um i don't know honestly i don't know because 17.7.2 is such a polish update 18.7.2 is also a really good update but definitely in if we compare both of these updates 17 is a bit better update but if you if you want new features you can go and upgrade to 18 percent by 2 you might see a bit of a difference obviously because of new features but not much difference is going to be there brother kindly test um on iphone 16 plus if i am testing any update on a specific device and it is giving a good results most probably that is a good update the thing is i cannot test every update on every other iphone it is really hard for me and i don't have much iphones i tested this update on iphone 16 and also on iphone 11 in terms of battery life this is a good update back cover link i don't have any back cover link i got this from offline market so maybe you go and visit offline market and get this case if you want to get this original case it is a pitaka case so um, it is from Pitaka company, so you can try that out. You know, just search Pitaka, P I T A K A, and you will get it. Highest are eighteen point seven point two or twenty six point one. Okay, I did a video about that, so you know, just yesterday, I guess. So go to my channel and check out that video. I updated my XR and Safari no longer. Safari is not working. What do you meant by that? Give me more details, like. If there is any error or you know Safari is not even opening, what is happening? Give me more specific details so I can guide you regarding this. I have a brand new iPhone 15 and 26 iOS 26.1 battery draining is terrible. iOS 26 battery drain in general is terrible. Um, give it a you know two or three days, it will get better. You just got a new brand new iPhone. Congrats for that. But when you update to iOS 26, Apple says this is a really different update. This is a new update because a lot of st things are happening for the first time. So it will take a couple of days to get stable. So just give it a couple of days. It will get better. Just uh, just updated my phone, iPad OS 18.7.2 because iPads are like big iPhone. Okay. iOS 26, no 18.7.2. Okay. Okay, there's a probably going to be one more 17.6.3 update. 17.6.3 update? I don't know what you're talking about. Battery life is good by me, so that's a good thing. I am not updating after this one. I think 18.7.2 is going to be the last update for the iOS 18. If you want to update, you have to go to the iOS 46. But yeah, it is completely your choice. Even I am using iOS 18 on my iPhone XS. It's a good update. So these were some of your comments I wanted to include in this video. So far we talked about iOS 26.2 um, beta 1 battery life that is going to be decent in you know one day I got 10 hours plus screen of time so that's a good battery life and I also answered some of your comments. This is all from this video and I hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care. Peace out.